Well, listen to heart, and today I will be speaking to you about literacy for little ones. We all know that reading is an important part of our world, and that it is very important for us all to be able to read and enjoy reading and use it in our daily lives. But the spectrum of reading goes from just basic to needing it to get by and understand the world around us to be able to enjoy reading and use it as a leisure activity. As we have little ones in our life, we all hope that they will be able to learn to read quickly and be able to broaden their horizons and learn more about the world around them through reading. As there are some things that we can do as parents and those who are around smaller children to help them and encourage them to be able to read quickly or be able to read on time for, for them. Um, first of all, when they are very small, just newborn babies, as we bring them home into our homes or are around them, we can sit them on our lap and enjoy a colorful book and enjoy turning the pages with them and looking at the pictures that are there, just enjoying the colors and the time together. Parents are children's greatest influences in their life and are the mentors that have the most influence on them through our interaction with them and making the time pleasurable together, we can encourage reading. It may seem like an indirect route, but just through our regular conversations each day with the child and through playtimes together and the use of our language interaction with one another, we encourage them to begin speaking, which will in turn help them to be able to read in the future. As they're a little bit older and they can grasp things in their own hands, around two months they usually can do that. And if we give them small books of their own to have at that time, they become to be able to feel like books are a part of their life and they own those things. They can enjoy turning the pages a lot of times, not until they're older. And so when they're that little, what they can do is chew on the book, then the pages and just kind of use it as one of their other toys. It's great to have the books be colorful and maybe the pages be stiff. I know that um, as we watched our first daughter play with books, she mostly chewed on them, and then all of a sudden one day you could see her turning the pages following the example of her parents and other people that she had seen. There are different shapes of books, and that's one thing that we may not even consider, but different shapes of pages are much easier to turn than others. We found one that our daughter enjoyed a lot, and she could turn the pages, whereas the other ones she couldn't at all. And it's exciting to see them be able to get their motor skills down and then um, enjoy books. The um, paintings or illustrations in the books are the main draw for young children initially. But as you spend time reading the words to them, they begin to understand what a story is and that those pictures go with some words and some ideas that are being put forth in the book. As you are reading to young children, don't get caught up on reading every single word. Uh, children many times don't have the attention span to be able to listen to the whole story. They just want to spend time with you and see the pictures and hear a few words every now and then. So if they're turning the page before you've read the whole sentence, don't worry about it. Just keep on going and enjoy your time together. Another thing you can do, instead of just reading the story to a word for word, you can just talk about the pictures that you see and look at the cute little bear that's hiding in the cupboard or see the pink bow of the little girl's dress or the dinosaur that's climbing the mountain and discuss those things with them rather than always reading the same story again and again. As they do have their own books to read, over time as they get older and they can handle the other pages, Encourage them to find subjects that they enjoy, and if their favorite thing is horses, then go to the library and find books about horses. Let them search through the different books and see what they can find, and it's almost like a treasure hunt when they do get to a book about something that they enjoy. They use 
not a library voice to tell you, I found the horses, or this was all about dinosaurs, and they're so excited, and they just really enjoy their trips to the library, and making that a regular routine in, in your day, your weekly schedule, can encourage them to be excited about books. They find that they can learn new things about their favorite subject, and their horizon really broadens. Um, Encourage them to spend time reading alone. It's always nice for a mother or father to have some quiet time in their home with their children and to be able to have them sit down with a book that they can look at the pages. A lot of times they'll want to discuss the things that they see and need to point out things to you. And just encourage that and be positive about the experience with them. As they get much older, you can encourage them to see the shapes of letters. As you read, you can point to the words that you're reading and help them understand that that is where the story is coming from. You can associate the shapes of letters with things that they know. If someone in your home fishes, perhaps they could relate a J with the fish hook, or the shape of an A could be similar to a tent that they've gone camping in. So help them see the shape of letters and understand that those shapes mean something. A really fun thing to do with the young child is help them know, teach them the first letter of their name. They usually get very excited about this and then that letter becomes their letter. Um, our daughter's name starts with an A and she looks for A's everywhere that we go. And we'll point them out to us, even if it's on the top of a 20-story building, and it's an A, she'll say, there's my letter to my name. And taking those tiny steps um, and teaching them their letters and their alphabet helps them eventually be able to put the letters together and then draw out words. For our young daughter, who is four now, she enjoys these phonics videos that we found at the library. And it just goes through a whole story, explains, um, I guess one of the stories was the Goldilocks and the Three Bears. And then it goes through each of the words that begin with the letter G, for example. And she really enjoys learning the letter G and what goes with that. And as she's watched those tapes and spent some time thinking about the, le the words that go along with those letters, she has begun to be able to write some of those letters herself and remember what they might go with. Um, I'm trying to think of a specific example once she said that off, and she realized that the F sound in off was F, and she explained it to me, and it was pretty exciting to see that she was beginning to understand then the sound of the letters that she had been learning the shape of. Finally, and throughout their whole life, and um, is to be an example. Show them that you enjoy reading, and show them the times that you need to read. For instance, when you're going grocery shopping, you can show them that you know that that is a can of tomato sauce, because it says tomato sauce on the label to help them recognize um, a restaurant maybe that you like to go to you can help them become familiar with the sign and um, let them know that you read that sign so that you can understand you don't necessarily have to say I read the signs but just let them know we're going to this place and here it is and then they will begin to recognize that also um, and spend time reading yourself. Enjoy If you don't enjoy long novels, if you find you don't have time or the attention to read long novels, then go ahead and pick up a magazine and read a magazine every so often, short articles and things, and continue learning yourself. When you go to the library, perhaps find a book that you would enjoy reading in a subject or topic that you would appreciate knowing more about. There is definitely a wealth of knowledge to be had in reading and, and exploring new places that otherwise you wouldn't or couldn't go through a, the pages of a book. And to be able to enjoy the 
other ideas of people and the things that they have learned about and can share with you through their writings is very exciting and can really enrich all of our lives. In conclusion, I just wanted to say that I have really enjoyed watching my own little ones learn to read little by little and the different ways that they have expressed themselves as they do read. And I know that it can be a very soothing activity for them and something that we can all enjoy throughout our whole life.